Hello guys, what's going on? Mr. JLP here. I'm coming at you with a little bit different video today. It's going to be a brand new series about how how do you record your gameplay, get it on the internet, uh, get a thumbnail, how to edit it, and finally get it up on the internet in order to be a YouTuber. So this is my very first episode using webcam. So this is kind of like a face for real for you guys who don't know what it actually looked like. Big surprise. Uh, I have not shaved in forever. I thought about not doing this, but uh, I was like, you know, what the hell, right? So, if you have not subscribed to me already, I have a channel. I play Call of Duty Zombies, but also I'm going to be doing tutorials on videos, editing. So, if you're into at all gaming, please hit that subscribe button. I am one away from that 25 subscriber hype. And anyways, let's get into this. So, you want to make a YouTube channel, or hell, you just want to record some videos just for the fun of it, you don't even want to upload them, here's how you do it. So, this is specifically for a PlayStation, but I'm also going to be telling you how you would do on an Xbox as well, and this will work for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3. So, I did an insane amount of research, probably research almost like two years before I actually got the balls to save up my money, and like save up my money to do what I need to do in order to get the things I need to do. Anyways, so my my recording stuff for just my gameplay is like $90, including the capture card. For, what was I saying there? Anyways, PlayStation has something called HDCP, where since the PlayStation has the Blu-ray, it's copyrighted, people don't want you to play Blu-ray discs on it and record like 1080p, 60 frames a second of that movie, then sell it and be a douchebag. What they do is they put something on it so where the capture card won't record it. So I got my capture card in the mail. I paid $70 for it. I was super, super stoked. I waited a couple months uh, to get the money for it because I had bills and whatnot. Everybody has bills. But I got it here. And I didn't have my mic or anything else. So I was like, hey, let's just record some gameplay. Maybe get my intro going and stuff. And I plugged. So this is my capture card right here. It's an HDC capture. It was $70. And it records it onto a flash drive right there, right there which is awesome. But if you look in the back, there is an in and an out. Um, HDMI slot, and if it's if it was an Xbox, it would go in the in and out the out your TV, so it would run it through. This would record it, then it would just run it into your TV, so you can see whatever you're recording. See, for an Xbox, that's fine. I was looking up tutorials, and nothing ever said anything was special about PlayStation. So, it turned out for the PlayStation, I needed to use these. Needed to buy new wires for the PS3. That's like green and white and red or whatever the hell. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm not buying new cords for it. Screw that. So, I looked up, how do you bypass HDCP on a PlayStation? This also works for the PlayStation 4. Now, what you're going to need is $20 and an account on Amazon.com, of course, like everything. You're going to need an HDMI splitter. And this is an HDMI splitter. Can we see that okay? That is an HDMI splitter. You probably can't see that that well. But basically the point of it is, from your PlayStation, it goes into the in, and then there's two out slots. So it's made so it can take one output source and put it on the two input sources. So you bring it from your PS3 into that, one cord in your TV, and one cord into your capture card. And what this does, your capture card believes that what it, the information it's getting is from the actual HDMI splitter itself, especially because there's no out coming out of it. I know for some capture cards, this can actually help your capture card not overheat and whatnot because it's not needing to send out at all. It's just getting all the information straight in. And yeah, so like I said, basically it tricks your capture card into thinking it's from something else that's not a PlayStation. And 
it requires it on a flash drive, blah, blah, blah. And if it was a an Xbox, basically, HDMI goes in, HDMI goes out, easy AF. So, that concludes this section. I'm going to be having an audio episode next, and then an editing episode, and then, like, some face, some YouTube stuff. Be like, you know, what's a good name, What's how do you make good thumbnails. I know I'm probably not the best to be making guides on that kind of stuff, considering I've only been on YouTube for about one week or so. Exactly one week today, I got with 24 subscribers. <laughs> but... You know, thanks a lot, guys. If you are still watching this, hit that subscribe button. It would help out a whole lot. Again, I apologize for the quality of the video, but hopefully my audio is up to par. Anyways, guys, like always, take it easy. Comment, subscribe. Uh, what would you like to see next, huh? Take it easy, guys.